Konnichiwa, everybody. My name is Olivia Bokitis. I am an instructor in the FCSS program. I am the Senior Research Supervisor of the Soka Education Research Center on Global Citizenship. And I am so excited to be the course director for this study abroad course, Soka Education, the Pursuit of Happiness. I am sure your interest in this course is because you want to explore the beautiful country of Japan, but I also hope it's because you have an interest and perhaps are a little intrigued about going on your own pursuit of happiness. So you may be wondering, how do we achieve this? Well, uh, we do it by exploring the philosophy of Soka, value creation, and talking about the principles and practices of Soka education. Soka originated in Japan in the early 20th century and is influenced by centuries-old Buddhist teachings. Its ultimate goal is to achieve individual and societal happiness through our daily actions to create value in our own lives, as well as in our interactions with others. Soka education's essential goal is to promote happiness of the learner. Now, of course, there are different interpretations and understandings of what happiness is, but in this course, we look at happiness in terms of value creation. Soka also has a deep and meaningful connection to the notion of global citizenship as a way to promote global harmony and peace. So in this course, we look at the relationship between Soka and global citizenship and as a way to develop meaning in our own lives by identifying as a global citizen. Our journey takes us all over the place, everywhere from Tokyo to Hiroshima to Nara to Kyoto to Osaka. We do a lot of walking on this trip, so it is important that if you do join us, you are comfortable walking long distances and have really comfortable walking gear. We take full advantage of Japan's very busy uh, but efficient subway system, and we even get to ride the bullet train. And I am hopeful that this will be the year that we will finally be able to see Mount Fuji from the window. We go on a number of excursions um, along the way. We visit ancient Buddha temples, Shinto shrines, we visit Daibutsu, which is a statue of a giant Buddha, busy Tokyo streets, some of the most phenomenal shopping districts you've ever seen, beautiful and serene Japanese gardens. Um, we climb a mountain, we go to a place called Deer Park where 1500 deer roam and run free. We also spend time at Soka High School in Kansai, where students are really given the opportunity to experience the spirit of Soka by interacting and dialoguing with students. We spend a few days at Soka University, participating in classroom activities, spending time on campus, exploring the dorms, and really getting an opportunity to see how Soka education can be applied to higher education. One of the most exciting parts about this journey is the culinary adventure that you can embark on. Of course, being in Japan, you will experience and enjoy some of the yummiest and most authentic Japanese cuisine that you can imagine. Everything from sushi to sashimi to udon to tempura to my personal favorite pork buns. Now, if you're not a fish or sushi eater like I wasn't the first time I went to Japan, there is no shortage of Western food options. Everything from McDonald's to Starbucks to Tully's. They have the best honey milk latte. I look forward to it every year. So you will be able to embark and enjoy on quite a culinary adventure as well. So really in a nutshell, that is Japan. This will be our seventh study abroad trip to Japan. It will be my personal fourth. It will be our trip assistant's seventh. And every year we fall in love and relive the values and principles of Soka every time. So I do hope to receive your applications and I hope you are ready to go on your own pursuit of happiness.